We've seen many things during our time with Gintama. An incredibly muscly humanoid zombie cat with its luckily pixelated penis flopping around. I, I didn't expect to be one of them. Of course, unfortunately, that also means that, uh, well, we're not finished with this arc. There's some more to go. Will everyone be put back into the right bodies? Is the Shinsengumi going to stop being such snivelling delinquents? Is anyone going to be able to actually eat any of Ty's cooking? I mean, she's going to know everything is completely normal here. His impression of Kentucky is flawless. Oh, now he's turning Sundere. <laughs> you know, if he always wanted to uh, just get Kentucky's body beaten. I mean, when you just could wondering how close they were, maybe that was too close. Oh, not close enough. Uh, hmm. Get rid of your cat. Get Kentucky as a pet. I mean, they're both useless. Just one would smell less than the other. Obviously, that would be the, the, the zombie cat. You know, they could easily ruin each other's lives. Well, more than they already have. But if they actually intended it, they could do a lot. But of course, by the end of the arc, everything will be back to normal anyway, so... And it's hard to take the, you know, the graveyard scenes and the seriousness seriously. Considering what we've been watching. Well, that seemed to come out of nowhere, didn't it? I mean, even with their whispering kind of loudly, she might be able to, to <coughs> work out what's going on. I mean, isn't that usually how... how he looks? Let's party night. I like how she just gets... horrified by both options. But it is I 
Ah, of course, yes, the most important part of it all. How much do you earn? Well, isn't isn't part of the thing to get rid of the cat? Only one point? She's enjoying this. <laughs> he actually came back for dinner. That's not chimpachi. That much, that much might not be all too wrong, but... No, nah, Shinpachi! I mean, all they need to do is grab the cat and then they can return, but... Hang on. I mean, one of them is Kondo, who's the other? Is it Sorgo? Oh. Okay, now it's completely understandable who that is. I mean, who else would want to have everything that would Yeah, not much has changed there. And that's how we lost two characters in an instant. <laughs> and all of the uh, close-ups that they made in the the festival episode you are ruining you're a gorilla in glasses I mean is yeah that much is probably true The only thing to rise him from near death. I'm surprised that the Hasegawa and Shinpachi didn't actually switch out. Maybe their egos were just too powerful. <laughs> Or leading you into a trap. Useful Yamazaki. Not used to it. Shinpachi. Uh, not Shinpachi. Sadaharu. So, Yamazaki is pretty much unchanged. I mean... <laughs> no. Just, just no. Finally. Someone that can be, uh, proud of.
I mean, is it a paying job? I'm surprised the Sadahari's vocal cords are evolved enough to be able to... What's with the squeezing noises? <laughs> he wasn't Sadahari, he was... Uh, oh, hmm. Good thing glasses don't have noses. And how... By the end of this episode, as long as... That's quite a stride. By the end of the episode, I just hope that not everyone is turned into... Various forms of feces. I know it's asking a lot, but... <laughs> I like it. A combination that we really deserve. Just silent Sogo. Leader. I see that uh, some people might be happy about the, uh, the freeze frames a, a little bit ago. I'm not actually that creeped out by his giant eyes. And the only thing to really, really anger Kagura. <laughs> yeah, play along with the body that you're in, apparently. Yeah, the main story is still over here. And if told that, uh, because I'm on his half Kentucky soul, will her mind falter for looking after him? Fair point. Actually, actually, we know that they are really close in the Shinsengumi. Huh? At least it's not his original body. Don't have to be f completely scarred by it. Mental trauma, though. Yeah, not when they're in their late twenties. The, uh, the spirit of battle and pachinko has high levels of honour, though, doesn't he? Well, some of them might not want to go back to their originals.
I don't think this is going to turn into an actual battle scene. <laughs> Do your best, Shinpachi. Ah. Only... Only through the lens of Shinpachi can she see the truth. His glasses have this kind of ability? What does she see when she looks at the cat, though? Doesn't have to change that much. Ah, finally, her abilities in bondage are being useful. There's a point though, Katsudo is now in Kaguya's body, so... So we're... Uh, has gained quite a lot of strength there. It's so come. <laughs> no, <sighs> well, if you want to make him angry, and what will sh oh, Hasegawa's being useful. Why? I mean... Hmm. Yamazaki is... Playing along quite well there. I mean, he has his glasses on. Strength level of... So many thousand. Remember, they were taught to, uh, they were taught discipline, given a way to be with the odd jobs. Is this meant to be a heartfelt moment? And how does she feel about having a uh, looking uh, uh looking after Kentucky or have them for a while? I mean, was that meant to work? When you meant to take them back to the machines? Oh, we've got the sad music. <laughs> Quick, grab it. I mean... It went in, it's got to come out. I think we can be glad for all the mosaics, though. For, oh no, it's all mixed in now. As long as there's not too many other colours thrown in. Uh, the new mascot of the show right there.
slight uh, amount of readjustment, but... The building had to be... Condemned. Burnt down. You've got to love that Gintama still tries to do... Like, feel-good moments and... Morals of the story of while having a shit show. They got paid somewhat. They'll be good for a year. Are they going to keep... Keep part of their uh, change that they instilled? Sometimes it takes an outside perspective to really... Notice how much people do for us. And they're now closer than ever. That's why I had bad feelings about this. Take it up with the mechanic. Good to see that everything is back to regular. We'll be right to uh, catch up with the next episode straight away. Also, is it all too su surprising that we can notice characters and figure out who is meant to be who based on sorely very few limited factors like eye shape I'm still slightly horrified at Sadaharu standing on two legs using the phone. I really just don't have. Oh. I don't believe we had that dog taking such a pose before, but... Oh. I... I've been wondering for a while. I don't think I'm going to be disappointed for once. Still, I think the mechanic needs to stop creating so many such worthwhile world-changing inventions. You know, in the first part, it's like, what are you doing with my body, my face? I wouldn't say that. And then there seems to be only really one or two who cared about it in the end. I guess we sh should have really guessed that after... The remnants of Hasegawa's ego was spewed out so graphically. The other half of Gintoki would have followed a similar suit. 
I wonder if it hadn't have eaten Ty's cooking beforehand, whether or not it would be more... have a bit different in consistency. Act a lot less like a sprinkler. Uh, I'm trying to come up with some sort of good message that Gintama have tried to portray here. But I don't think emulating someone's sibling in order to get close to them or stealing their pet as a way of making up for not being able to gain the original really something to look up to. And here I was, foolishly hoping that Condor might have turned a, a leaf or two, grown a little out of his one-track stalker personality. But no. Nothing that generous could ever happen. It's been mentioned actually quite a few times in different episodes in various ways, but there does seem to be an issue with stray stray animals in, in Gintama. Obviously an issue in most places, really, but... If it wasn't for his fighting spirit, his bravado to carry on the fight, I don't think Gintoki would have lost too much by giving up that part of his soul. The pachinko parlors would lose a lot. The economy just wouldn't be the same. And so, whether you're a masochist masquerading as a gorilla, a stalker, in the guise of a younger brother, or a steaming pile of excrement with some snazzy glasses, I hope you like Gintama. All of us can be summed up so easily thanks to this show. But if you want to see more, you best be coming back. And that is a good way just to show your appreciation. But if you want to take the extra mile, leave a like on the video, maybe a comment down below, subscribe, and you won't miss out. But for now, I don't know what I'm going to do with myself. But I know I'm going to stay away from the street. See you in the next one. After seeing such a thorough representation of my channel there, maybe I should step up my game and actually try to provide some worthwhile entertainment. But while the likes of Electric Ant, Afia, Noku, Raywin, Kite, Sal, Shiwan, Mecha, Matt, Stinsfire, Gurley, Salty Tron, Cardboard, Dark Shadow, 7899, Croyville, and everyone else continues to stand by my leadership, I think we're all doomed to suffer. I also feel quite dirty, so I'm going to go and wash up now.